Nanan, when's the last time that you saw Neil Diamond and Barbara Streisand on one stage? Thought so. Well, sit back and enjoy the sound of one of the world's greatest entertainers. Searching me, searching you. Isn't that just fantastic? The Hello Again Tour nationwide at the minute. It's in Birmingham tonight. Now, how Brooklyn Creed got the top spot playing the brilliant Neil Diamond is a story in itself, which I think we should hear right now in our Birmingham studio. Welcome, Brooklyn Creed and Juanita Diaz. Brooklyn, uh, first of all, the... where on earth did the voice come from? I mean, it, it, it is so accurate to Neil Diamond. I'm very, very lucky, Steve, really, because I think that really is my natural voice. So, yeah, really, really lucky. I'll just, just sort of fine-tune it a little bit to get the Neil Diamond sort of emphasis over it. Yeah, it's, it's basically my voice, which is great. Because you've been, you've, you've been in the music business since, what, you were, what, professional about 18? You've been singing since you were about 14, 15? Yeah. Is that always the sort of style that you've been going for? Is that, is that the kind of music you've been making all those years? I suppose it is really, yeah, yeah, the sort of the quite middle of the roadish kind of songs, but yeah, I've always made a sort of living out of it, so it's great. And every, every gig I've, I've, I've really sort of done live, everyone used to come up and say how much you sound like Neil Diamond. So, yeah, but I never put two and two together. Never thought I'd be doing a sort of show like this. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I know it's quite uncanny in a, in a funny sort of way. Whether it's just I'm putting the voice to the looks as well. You look a bit like him in some ways. Juanita, uh, you and your partner uh, Darren, who've been involved in. in in, in, in singing and music all your lives as well. Put this show together. You produced it. You got the musicians and everything. And the only thing that was lacking was Neil Diamond, which is quite a crucial part of the whole jigsaw. Tell us the story yeah. of how you actually found Brooklyn then to play this part. Well, it absolutely took us months. I think actually it was more on to a year to actually find the right singer because, as you know, Neil Diamond has got such a unique voice and not many singers can portray that because they miss that depth that he's got and that raspiness to his voice and we we had auditions we was up and down the country like I said for nearly over a year and then eventually it's we was in the shop just in a shop and um, one of Darren's friends come up to him and was talking about this guy that lived in the next <laughs> village and everybody says their friends can sing let's be honest so we was like okay but we was at the stage where we were so desperate because the band was all rehearsed up the narration was all done, everything, but we just didn't have the main man to, to do the show. And um, so we went along to meet Brooklyn, thinking, you know, because it's just not going to happen. And when we went there, all of a sudden, this voice, just unbelievable, even now when I think about it, this voice that just met us, we just couldn't believe it. It had everything, it had the rasp, it had the depth. He's just amazing, absolutely amazing. I have to put my fees up. I think, um, <laughs> this <is> fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what the chances of that are. I mean, we'd love to talk with bookmakers and find out just what, what the odds on that would be. But let's hear a little bit of that voice. You've got the guitar, which I'm delighted to see is, is, is sitting beside you there, uh, Brooklyn. So a little bit of Play Me. This, this is Neil Diamond. You could choose any number of classic songs from this guy. But look, give us a little bit sort of live and, and, and a cappella with a bit of guitar here, and we'll, we'll hear what it sounds like. Okay. This is just a little bit in the show where all the band go off, Steve, and they leave me alone in front of all these people. So I'll just, I'll just give you a little verse and a chorus. Is yeah, that yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. She was morning and I was night time. One day I woke up to find the lion beside my bed. I softly said, come take me. For I've been lonely in need of someone. As though I've done someone wrong somewhere. But I don't know where. I don't know where come lately You are the 
sun, I am the moon. You are the words, I am the two. Play me. You are the sun, I am the moon. You are the words, I am the two. Play. Do you know what I'm Forget That's about enough. the band. You, you know, let them stay off. You just continue to play like that. But it's <laughs> absolutely ah, mesmerising, <laughs> isn't it? Well, Nita, you. What, you mentioned the sort of reaction that this show has had going around the country. I mean, are, are people sort of treating Britain like Neil Diamond? I mean, what, what, yes. you, you sort of see them standing and swaying and doing all this stuff. What, what sort of reaction has it been? It's been absolutely amazing because after the show, Brooklyn likes to go out and meet the people as well, which is really a nice warm touch of his. He's naturally a nice guy though. And when he meets the people, they want to be his friend afterwards and they want, and he makes them want to be his friend. Wow. He's just a nice man. So. <laughs> and actually, Steve, in Leeds, we did a gig in Leeds last week and there was 20 Americans come all the way from London thinking it was the real Neil Diamond because we did the Leeds, the O2 in Leeds wow. and actually came they thought it was Neil Diamond. Yeah. And there's friends on Facebook uh, And we've got too. no complaints, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I bet they're a bit disappointed when they found it wasn't and then heard the singing oh, and thought, actually, <laughs> this guy's not bad at all. Have you, have you heard from Neil Diamond at all? Is, is he aware of what you're doing? His management company, definitely. We've, we've heard from the management company and they seem very pleased with what we're doing. So that, that's a, a, a really good for us that the management company are, are pleased. So yeah. That, How's right. this changed yeah. your life, uh, Brooklyn, in a way? You know, both of you have sort of come through, you know, a lot of backing singers working with big stars. I know you've been working yeah. with a real thing, Hot Chocolate, David Essex, all those sorts of yeah. major stars, Brooklyn, in a, in a way, I suppose, the spotlight not directly on yourself, but this time you're taking center stage. Is it a, is it a nice feeling? Is it a very different feeling? It's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic, but it really does take over absolutely everything. It's, it's Neil Diamond sort of 24-7 now, which is, which is fantastic, yeah. And, it, it, you know, it's something I can do, and I'm, I seem to be quite good at it at the moment, so we're doing great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so enjoyable to be The theatres are so, the people in the theatres are so lovely, yeah. audiences are so lovely. You couldn't get a better environment to be working in. It's yeah. lovely. And Juanita, who's going to see it? You know, who are who are the fans of Neil Diamond? One of those guys, in a way, you know, has has sort of survived all the changes in genre in music, and, and is still up there as one of the absolute greats. I mean, is it, is it all ages that are coming to the shows? Yeah, there is. There's, it just is right across the board. I mean, we've even had like 16 year olds mm. going along with their parents, be, and it, it's just there's no age limit to it, and it, it doesn't matter. You have the, like I said, 16 year olds up on their feet, waving their arms. It's just something that grabs you. I mean, even when I was a child, my mum and dad used to play it all the time, and I just loved him. It was it just something that makes you feel happy and something that you can just connect to. His lyrics, yeah. they're just, it's just amazing. And, and, and it's Brooklyn's time to give you a bit of kudos as well, because you, you do a bit of Barbara Streisand in the show, don't you? Yes. You've, not you're easy to sing. Not <laughs> easy to sing. <laughs> but, but she does Barbara a fantastic is job. Absolutely yeah. amazing yeah. as well. So. Yeah, you, you must have a, a heck of a voice. I won't ask you to try and do that live because that, 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 that's something else, really, isn't it, for that kind of song? song I'd have but to do a little bit of warming up. Well, we need our piano player as well. Yeah. You need one, all that yeah. stuff, you know, and yeah. uh, actually, we haven't got the yeah. budget. But listen, guys, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the tour. It, it, it's from, from Dublin through to, I think, Valencia in Spain. You, 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 it's a, yeah. a sort of a full year that you're on the road. It must be great, great fun. But it's a delight to have you on the programme and, and good luck with the rest yeah. of the tour. Thanks very much indeed for joining Th us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us, Steve. Absolute it's pleasure. Lovely thank talking you. To you. Yeah, delightful people. And if you want to see the Hello Again show, it's in the Alex in Birmingham tonight. Uh, just make it if you're around the corner. Uh, and in our regions, it's at the Victoria in Halifax on the 3rd of February, Bath Forum on the 24th of February, and Newcastle Harlow on the 19th of October. Slapstick next week. What's new, you ask? I will see you then from all of us here. Bye-bye for now. See you then. Bye-bye.